Welcome friends, in this video let's take a look at exploring the first octant of space. So I've built a model here of a 3D coordinate system the way you see here. See this? Let's explore the first octant. So that's this first box right here that you kind of see in front of you. Let's go through this a little bit. So where my finger is moving, we call it the positive x-axis. The other one there is a the positive y-axis. And there's also the positive z-axis. That point right there. That's the origin, where all of them meet. Zero, 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 that would be the origin. Then this is the positive z-axis. That there is the positive y-axis. And this here is the positive x-axis. And then, you zoom out. <laughs> and this gives us the appearance of a 3D coordinate system. It's not the appearance of it, right? It's a real 3D coordinate system that actually built in three dimensions is using paper. So here, let's label some points. Well, first of all, if I look at it, this thing right here, that is the basic Y positive and Z positive coordinate system. That's a part of the plane. If I look at it from this perspective right here, see that there is the Z positive and the X positive coordinate plane. Obviously, I don't think real space is, you know, stitched together with staples, <laughs> but it gets the idea across. And that thing on the bottom, where I'm pointing straight down, if you look at that, that's basically the XY coordinate plane. Like that, you see? Let's locate a point in three dimensions in this first chunk of space. So to do that, I built a little thing on a wire. I'm going to put that in there, look. It looks like that. I'm going to zoom out. And here, when I look at this, Let's look at this from this perspective first. Of course, keep in mind this is a paper model, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect. But it looks as though the value of the Z coordinate, if you look at it along the wire to that yellow point on it, that's about three and a half. See that? That would be the Z coordinate, three and a half. Let me look at it from this other angle, make sure that it kind of agrees. So again, that depends. A little bit on how closely I can hold the camera, but it's also three and a half about. You see that? So that'll be the z coordinate of the point. Now the other coordinates can be read off pretty easily. Look at it from this perspective. You see that, for example, the y coordinate is three, right? The y coordinate is just this value right here. That's three. You can see it from right there. It's three. I'm gonna do it this way. See, that's the positive y axis, and you can also see that the x coordinate there is. 4 on that position right there it's 4. This here is the positive x axis. So if I were to label that point there in the first octant of space, octant simply means something divided basically into eight pieces and this is one of them. I would label it as follows. I would take the x coordinate from right there. This is the x axis. So that's positive 4 where the y it turns. And then after that I would take the y coordinate so that's right there. You see, that's a 3 right here. That's 3. So 4, comma 3, and then I would take the Z coordinate, which everybody established to be about 3.5. So 4, comma 3, comma 3.5. That's how I would label that point. This is an octant in the following sense. Take a look. There are 8 of these. So this is just one of them right here. Now I'm going to turn this, and this is another one of them. And this is another one of them. And this is another one of them. So that's four already in the top. And now I'm going to flip it. And you see now this is the fifth one, the sixth one, the seventh one, and the eighth one. So there are eight of these. So a coordinate system like this divides space into eight chunks, so to speak. I'll explore the other ones in other videos. Thanks so much. If this has been helpful, leave a like.